Welcome back to Issues of Faith. I'm with Danielle Livalera with Nashville Shambhala. Um, interesting discussion about where we are as a society and what some people, really of all different kinds of faiths, you have Christians who come in, you have atheists, um, are turning to Nashville Shambhala meditation, essentially. And so I want to, the average person who comes through your door, and you're the you're the only Shambhala community in the state of Tennessee, the average person who comes through your door, what how, how would you describe? What, what are they going through? We find that people come to Shambhala and to meditation. Um, there are other meditation groups in Nashville, but when something's gone on, maybe they've gone through a divorce or they're going through a hard time or they're just not really happy with something in their life, it feels like we get to a point where we notice that we're suffering and we want to do something different. So, Or people are dealing with anxiety or stress or depression. So they'll come in and they might have heard about meditation before they might have tried it at home and um, finding it more helpful to have an actual person like you can read about meditation for sure but what we found and this is how it's gotten passed down to us from the Buddha is it's actually transmitted person to person this meditation instruction and so you said at the top an offshoot of Buddhism this is the only community in the state how big is this worldwide Shambhala how big is this community it's again it's in this kind of small and mighty um, there's a lot within the Buddhist community there are I don't know the numbers of how many people would identify as being a Buddhist and you can actually be a Shambhalian and not ident not identify with being a Buddhist so it's very clearly a secular form of just meditation and studying what we call the Dharma so these books are full of what we call Dharma teachings which Dharma is just a word that means truth and these are the truths that have been passed down from the Buddha so we do study that and we apply it to our meditation practice. So if it's an offshoot of Buddhism, how is it different from Buddhism? Mm. Why not just be Buddhist? Well, <laughs> yeah, and we have a lot of people who are Buddhists and also come to Shambhala. So Buddhism, and I am, let me just say, I'm not an expert on Buddhism, but my understanding of it is that Buddhism is about personal enlightenment and really transcending our personal suffering through meditation and through studying the Dharma. With Shambhala, there's a second step that's more of a social enlightenment really wanting to take this out into the world and into the community and and create a new culture really is what ultimately um, and it's not a culture of Shambhala where everyone believes in Shambhala it's that everyone knows that they're basically good and is living in the present moment they're not reliving the past they're not worrying about the future they're here now um, and that is that's that's good right Do you, you feel like are there people that are skeptical when you say everyone is good? You know, how, how do you get past that skepticism? Well, and the interesting thing is, so we meet and ha meditate together um, in silence, and then we actually have a discussion. And we're having a hard time believing in our own goodness. You know, any given day, if you really look close and look inside, there's part of you that you don't want other people to see, you're embarrassed about. And so we're creating a community where it's okay. You can be cranky. You know, we, we kind of joke like, show up as you are. You don't, it's, you don't have to show up and put your mask on. And so what I'm seeing, you know, I've, I've only been in this community for a couple of years in Nashville, but just to watch everyone as they start to come more and as they start to meditate to really, it's like you're falling in love with yourself in a way that's just really missing in society. Mm -hmm. And and so this is a, it's primarily meditation. Yes. Sounds like there's discussion as well. But how is this different? Um, are there different types of meditation? There are many, and, many. There are probably so thousands how is this, different. Yeah. Kinds. How is this different than any other meditation? A couple of differences are the whole technique is grounded in this idea of basic goodness. So bringing your body to it as it is, not suffering. You know, not being in a very stiff, rigid posture but being relaxed, making peace with your mind. Your mind is going to plan the shopping list and relive a conversation that you didn't like the way it went, and that's just natural, and it's just accepting that. So the practice is grounded in basic goodness. Most meditation, there's an object of focus. Um, in Shambhala, it's the breath, so you're really just coming back to feeling your body breathing. Um, and then what's a little bit different is we actually meditate with our eyes open, which can be, sometimes people are surprised by and I get a lot of questions you know why do we do that we want our meditation to actually be preparing us to go out and inter interact with the world 
if we're like, I'm meditating and my eyes are closed, then it's a different experience than, oh, I'm actually feeling present and here with you now. And so how, 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 do you, how important is it to meditate, do you feel like, as a group? And is it, is it better as a group or is it better alone? I find both are true. Um, I know for myself personally, I do meditate every day. And I use meditation when things are coming up that I'm stressed about, like maybe coming here <laughs> and walking around the studio and doing some breathing as we get settled in. Um, and then to come together with the group has really, it's actually really deepened my practice. Because when there's something powerful about, you know, 30 or 40 people sitting in a room and literally all just meditating, like the, the energy in the room is really beautiful and intense and grounding. And then we get to talk about what's come up, you know, and so we've been learning and growing together as a community, which has been really, really beautiful. So all right, you said you came to the community a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. You've taken on a, a leadership role. Mm -hmm. What, um, without, you don't have to get too, what was your journey? Mm -hmm. Like, were you um, Christian before? And, and are you still Christian? I mean, I guess to the extent that you're comfortable, what was your, how did, how did you come there? Right. So I was uh, born Catholic and raised Catholic and just wasn't really feeling at home in that. Um, and so in about 2011, found meditation. I was, you know, starting to go through divorce and business was not going well for me. And so, you know, kind of walked through the doors and find uh, meditation in Vermont at the Shambhala Center. And really got to see how powerful it is to be sitting every day and meditating. And, you know, not all of us sit every day for sure. It's a tricky thing. But now I feel like I'm a lot more open to many different things. I wouldn't necessarily identify as any specific religion. And I'm also not excluding religions. Like, I feel like for whatever reason, I've been feeling really, really called to serve here locally. And I'm really, really passionate about keeping our doors open to anyone. You know, we really want people to feel welcome. So in Nashville Shambhala, is it do you do you meet once a week? Are the doors open all the time? You meet all the time, or what's what's is there a time where everyone comes together, and when is that? There's a couple of times we do Wednesday evenings at seven o'clock, and then Sunday from ten to twelve, and then we literally are just in our very own space. It's kind of like we've been the the teenagers, and now we're out of mom and dad's house, and we have our own space. So we're starting to add programs. We're, we do a discussion on being with dying. We do an LBGTQ night for folks that are identifying and allies of that. Group group. Um, we're doing a families, you know, growing brave families and children, how to instill basic goodness. Oh, you should see kids. I, we um, were part of the Germantown art crawl. And so last Saturday we had the door open and we were just welcoming people in as we were actually exhibiting because we've got a lot of artists, of course, and musicians in our group to see the kids come in and sit on the cushions and immediately quiet down. And the parents were like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And so, all right, are you optimistic? I mean, when you, I, I'm, I'm fascinated when you say humanity is at a crossroads. Are you optimistic um, about where humanity's going? <laughs> wow. And that's a tough one. <laughs> that's but, a tough one. <laughs> you know, what, what, what do you think? I, I am optimistic when I feel within myself how different I am now that I've been practicing meditation and really getting involved in this community. And when I see people come in that are stressed and anxious and angry and watch them transcend that and move through that. And then I travel around the country a lot and visit other Shambhala centers and to see this kind of spreading out. Like, I, I mean, I'm kind of not joking that if we could take this to Congress and teach meditation, which <laughs> would be interesting, but I bet it would be a different experience. So, all right, we have one minute left. What do you want people to take away? Mm, that is a good question. I think if, you, if people are curious about meditation, there are plenty of books, there are plenty of resources. People are welcome to come and just check it out. You know, it's not like you come and you have to stay. You're welcome to come and, and have your experience. Um, I think the most important thing is, is space. Meditation's about space, breathing out and having some space. So just take a minute now, you know, when we're done with this program, and just breathe and notice how you feel. <laughs> start with that. Right, start, start with there. just breathing. Yes. All right, well, thank you. Danielle Livalera, did I say that? Yes, right? you did. All right, good. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you for Director having us. Director of Nashville Shambhala. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank all of you for watching Issues of Faith. Have a great day, everybody.